Hey church, my name is John Bracegirdle. I head up the business ministry and I'm excited to be sharing with you today about faith. Now the Bible tells us in Hebrews 11.6 And without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So, as you know, I'm a, a business person and I've had to step out in faith time after time and believe God to come through. Let me tell you something, he always comes through. And sometimes, and probably more often than not, he comes through in a way I wasn't expecting. He does it his way. However, the facts of the matter are that I've got always got to step out in faith by believing God exists, he's involved in the situation. And you know what, that he rewards me as I earnestly seek him. He's a good God. The choice to step out in faith is like a protective mechanism that God, in his infinite wisdom, has given us to highlight to us when we're using faith or not. Let me explain. If you need to use your faith, step out and solely trust God. You know, you've got that opportunity that, to see the impossible become possible. And the Bible tells us that it's pleasing to him. It encourages you that God is in it and he will reward you. If you don't need to trust God, it highlights the fact that you don't have to use your faith and you may be doing it in your own strength. So then this is a clue that maybe God is not in it. I don't know about you, but I want to know God is involved. He's part of it. So I'm always looking for opportunities to use my faith. First, it's baby steps of faith. We all know faith is a muscle and when used, it gets bigger. God wants us to trust him and rely on him constantly. Once you step out in faith, the next time you need to do it, it'll look bigger, it'll look more scary, it'll even look more complicated. But if it was easy, then you wouldn't need to use your faith. God wants to continually grow and develop you because he wants you ready to make the most of every opportunity. We are called to reach nations and the God will use people of faith to do it. I encourage you to read the rest of Hebrews 11. The, this, these, this chapter highlights the, the community of faith that the Bible talks about. These are not perfect people, but faith people like you and me. So I want to encourage you today to use your faith. Present God all your decisions, all your cares, any worries, any situation. Then use your faith by believing he has got every situation and he will reward you for earnestly seeking him about them. Be bold, be courageous. Step out in faith today, then every day. Love your church and pray mighty blessing on each and every one of you. I'll see you soon.